What some of you might not know is that Sarah is actually ridiculously talented in, well, that sounded like an insult, <laughs> but she made her wedding dress, okay, by herself with... No help. With no help. No help. I made it in secret, actually. Yeah, I didn't know you were making your wedding, your Neither wedding dress. Neither did anybody else. No. I literally kept it a secret from everybody. And and it wasn't like you were you weren't living alone. You were living with people, and nobody knew. <laughs> nobody knew. <laughs> they didn't catch on. No. I actually didn't tell my mom about the dress until we were thinking about wedding dresses, and <laughs> right. I said, "Hey, I actually already have one." And she's like, well, what are you talking about? And I was like, well, let me just show it to you. And I put it on and <laughs> well, I showed- Without her knowing that you made it? Yeah, okay. I didn't tell her. And I put it on, I showed her and my sister and I said, what do you think? And I don't really remember what the reaction was. I think they were just confused on why I had this dress. And they were like, oh, and I was like, I made it. <laughs> they were like, what are you talking about? Sarah took three dresses from Forever 21. At least, I think I think it was three. It might have was been it? four. It might have been, it was three or four. And she ripped them to shreds and then rebuilt them brick for brick into this magnificent yes. dress. Well, let's back up. Let's go to the beginning. Okay. So, I was doing what most girls who are in serious relationships do, we're scrolling Pinterest, looking at wedding dresses, you know. That's right. What if? That's right. And I saw the dress. And I was like, there's just a couple of things I would change about that dress. And it was like $12,000. What? We got Don't married. tell me that dresses are <laughs> that much. We got married for like two, $3,000 with our whole wedding. So I was like, well, that's yeah. out of the question. So I was like, Psh, I can make it. <laughs> Only better. It wasn't better than the $12,000 dress, but it was, it had all the modifications I wanted. And then I actually did still want to have like that experience of shopping for wedding dresses. So I did go shopping and I just still liked my dress the best, so. Were you actually considering getting another dress or was that just for fun? It was a little bit of both. I was like, if I find something really special, because I did have like doubts about the quality of, of yeah. my dress because it these were was forever like, 21 dresses right i mean come yeah on. well and my sewing skills were not top notch like let's just not look at the inside of this dress <laughs> yeah. but um so i was like i was afraid it would look a little too homemade or and mm. I, I also it the color wasn't white because this twelve thousand dollar dress i saw was blush and i loved that and so i made a blush dress yeah. And then I told Jordan that my wedding dress was not white, and he was like, what do you mean? It's I didn't know white. that wedding dresses couldn't be white. I thought they were just all white. You know, it's not like I'm looking at Pinterest all the time, so I just thought, you know, wedding dress, white. And then when she came to my house and was like, hey, I made a wedding dress, and it's not white. Not white. I, I, was I wanted to like, warn him because I didn't what? want him it to be a disappointment for me to show up, and he'd be like, what is she wearing? I would have been confused. I'm glad that you did because I would have been like, like, even if it was, like, if I thought it was amazing, I would be like, what? That was literally my worst nightmare. So I did <laughs> consider going and buying a white dress because I was like, this is my chance to wear, like, a white wedding dress and maybe I'm ruining it. It was definitely some. When I did shop for wedding dresses, I was, like, trying on these white dresses in my budget, which was, like, few and far between. And there was this beautiful blush dress in the window, and I was like, I like that one. <laughs> And I've got one at home, so I should probably just wear yeah. it. Yeah, I'm just curious to see if it still fits. Well, let's grab it. Where is it? You really see, took really um, good care of this. See this wonderful packing job? I'm always so amazed that you could do this from not watching something. I am such a visual learner that like that just seems like such an impossibility to me. But imagine if you had like watched like a Skillshare class or something like that to be able to actually know make the I inside look good and know what the heck you were doing. You might think this is funny, Sarah, but I actually went on Skillshare to see if they had sewing videos because I, you know, I want to learn. I've always wanted to learn. We actually yeah. made a sewing video where you, you were tried to teach me how to sew and you know, it didn't go well. I need to watch something to, to learn it. That's just how I am. I actually started watching one on there called Illustrated Textiles. Design, print, and sew a cushion by Ellie Shipman. You know, I want to get into designing stuff as well. So this was like the best of both worlds. I get to learn design and how to sew. She does a really great job at breaking everything down for beginners to 
help with learning. And hey, if sewing is not your thing, they have tons of other classes on there that will be your new favorite thing. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. The cool thing about Skillshare is that you can connect with the support of fellow creatives. You enter into a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. Whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or join a similarly creative community, Skillshare is the place to get you learning. And the first First 1,000 people to click the link in our description below will receive a free trial of Skillshare Premium membership. And after that, it's only around 10 bucks a month. When you support our sponsor Skillshare, you are 100% supporting us and allowing us to do what we love for a living. So be sure to click the link down in the description below and Sarah, I think it's about time for you to try on your dress. What do you guys think? So what were the parts of the three different dresses? Okay, so all of this mesh overlay, these were, there was like the base layer is this chiffon, this like blush chiffon, and that one came with this lining, the lining as well. And then I got these dresses that had like these mesh overlays, and it also had a design with these little like, lace pieces, crochet pieces. And so I just cut them all up. And oh, wow. these were all connected in the design of the other dress. So you just cut them? So I cut them apart and just kind of wow. laid them out into a different Wow, that's cool. I guess dress. I didn't realize that. And all these dresses were just off of like the clearance rack. So <laughs> <laughs> how much do you think this whole dress cost? Probably in total ended up costing me around a hundred dollars. All right, well know. let's go let's go ahead and try it on. Let's, if you don't, I'm going to. So let's right. let's do it. All right, let's let's see. Sarah, how's it fitting? It's fitting. It it's fitting? Yeah. I knew it. So fit. Wow, look at that. It really does. The the problem with this dress is this right here and this is where the zipper is and i couldn't get this to lay flat so i actually got sewed into my dress on our wedding day <laughs> a little bit just but when it was sewed down you couldn't tell like it just looked is that one of your bridesmaids helped you with that yeah and my mom i forgot who actually sewed me in but <laughs> wow you look amazing thanks and then i do have like a train in the back it's just chandy, chandy. <laughs> stop it's uh <laughs> back here and then and then I have a train so I love it it like because it matches your skin tone so well and you're right you know when you put on like a white dress because you put on a white dress one time like that and there's just something about it it just didn't really match your skin tone super this well so like, I see why you wanted a one that was blush well this is like my color too so I don't regret it though I, I I was worried that I would, and I, I still like it. So. And it's nice, even though it's not like, I mean, it's definitely homemade. Don't look too close. You can see the stitches. I didn't even use oh, the yeah, yeah. right color thread. <laughs> it's white on it. <laughs> I was sewing until we got married on a Sunday, and I was sewing the dress. I finished it the Thursday before we got married. So, you know, it was kind of crunch time. It's nice that I made it, I think. Oh yeah, it, well I think you did a great job. No chance, 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 stop. Why is your face so dirty? I feel like it's gotten darker because it's it has. because it's just dirty. It's gotten darker. I, I noticed that. It. I haven't washed it. So just. Oh no, no, it's even dirtier. Well, how life has changed in four years, huh? We have a bear <laughs> and like ten dinosaurs. Well, twenty-three dinosaurs <laughs> running around. A lot's changed in four years. Yeah. But we're still together. The one thing that hasn't changed is that I still love you. <laughs> 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 well, it looks great. And if you want to make a wedding dress yourself, go to Skillshare, learn to sew, support us. <laughs>